Senegal's president-elect Basirou Diomaye Faye was born on 21st of March 1980 in Ndiagagnao in the western department of Mebour, Thiès, Senegal. He was the former general secretary of the dissolved political party, PASTEF, Patriots Africains du Sénégal pour le Travail, l'Éthique et la Fraternité, meaning the African Patriots of Senegal for Work, Ethics and Fraternity, founded in 2014 by Ousmane Sonko. Fay on Monday, promised Senegalese citizens that he will govern them with humility and ensure national reconciliation during his term in office. Fay beat the candidate of the ruling coalition, Amadou Ba, by a clear margin after Sunday's tight presidential election, according to preliminary results. In his first address to the media after the elections, Fay committed to fighting against corruption in the country in order to give substance to the immense hope and aspirations of the people. I am committed to govern with humility and transparency and to fight corruption. In electing me, the Senegalese people have chosen to break with the past, he said. Faye made a special mention of his political ally, Ousmane Sonko, whose backing he owes much of his victory to, and hailed outgoing President Macky Sall for ensuring the smooth organization of the election. Earlier on Monday, Sal joined other presidential contenders in recognizing Faye's victory well before the proclamation of the final results. I salute the smooth running of the presidential election of March 24, 2024, and congratulate the winner, Mr. Basiro Diomaye Faye, who the trends show as the winner. It is the victory of Senegalese democracy, Sal said on X. The results showed Faye leading with nearly 58% of the vote, against the 33% of his main rival, former Prime Minister Amadou Ba of the ruling coalition. The in a statement, Ba said that, in view of the trends in the results of the presidential election, he had called Fay to congratulate him on his victory pending the official proclamation. I pray to the Almighty to grant him the energy and strength necessary to assume this high office at the head of our country, he said. Ba had said on Sunday night that he was ready for a runoff vote in two weeks if he and none of the other candidates are able to secure the 50% threshold. Faye, 44, became BA's main competitor after opposition leader Usmane Sonko, who enjoys wide support among young people, was barred from the race due to a defamation conviction. Faye and Sonko, whose political party, called the Patriots of Senegal for Work, Ethics and Fraternity, passed F was dissolved by the government last year, were released from prison under an amnesty law 10 days ahead of the election, after which they moved together on the campaign trail. Faye was imprisoned, following a post on his Facebook account, criticizing the Senegalese justice system in connection with Sonko's case. 19 candidates were running in the presidential race, including the only female candidate, Anta Babakar Ngom, but two dropped out to back Faye. Some 7.3 million Senegalese were eligible to vote in the election. Senegal witnessed mass protests earlier this year after President Saul announced the postponement of the election originally scheduled on February 25, citing a dispute over the candidate list and alleged corruption of constitutional judges. The National Assembly then passed a bill postponing the vote until De Soto 15, as security forces stormed the building and removed some opposition lawmakers. But the Senegalese Constitutional Council declared the law postponing the country's presidential vote to December unconstitutional and annulled his decree to delay the poll. Sal announced the new poll date after the Constitutional Council ruled that it would be unconstitutional to hold the presidential election after April 2, the date marking the end of the current term of the president. If you enjoyed this video, Please leave a like and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button so as not to miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.